Coulthard slowing down. Coulthard. Yep. And, he, and Hakkinen takes the lead. Now, that looked like a planned move to me, Martin. A team order is clearly defined by any instruction from the management that would in some way influence that driver's race result beyond the normal result that they would be uh, destined to have. We never really employed team orders. I never liked it. The drivers it always caused aggravation. It always caused friction in the team. So as a rule, I generally put it to one side, never discussed it until there was actually a moment where it needed to happen. Simon, Ralph behind you is a lot quicker. Ralph is five seconds a lot quicker. In Belgium, I was protecting the team. Nobody lost or gained points as a team order or a team decision. I didn't tell Damon to fall behind Ralph Schumacher and vice versa. was quicker there's no doubt but with three four five laps to go I made it very clear that the car should hold station in the best interest of the team Ralph you cannot overtake Damon okay that is team order you cannot overtake Damon the big difficulty for me with Hareth 97 is there was no conversation beforehand with the team that there would be a team order Coulthard and Hakkinen there they are second and third I said it was going to be a barnstorming finish and that is exactly what it's going to be as Hakkinen challenges Coulthard. So when the instruction came over the radio, I, I spent several laps negotiating, if you like, to, to try and understand why I should uh, let Mika pass me. Yes, Mika Hakkinen goes through and takes David Coulthard. There's no question that the team orders did affect my relationship with the team. Uh, in fairness to, to McLaren, they did whatever they could to, to try and compensate the fact that I hadn't had the chance to win the race but ultimately what I learned was that this is a team sport and difficult decisions have to be made by the team that are going to influence one driver over the other. Team orders is not a part of the sport anymore and I think it's it comes from what happened with Rubens Barrichello and I think the the sport took the right direction in, in getting rid of that. Ferrari did that such an outrageous move it was just distasteful it, it, it was the last thing on earth that people wanted to see in motor racing because then people thought it was contrived. It was a really uncomfortable situation where you had two great drivers, Barrichello and Michael Schumacher, not wanting to get on the top podium because you clearly saw that Michael Schumacher was really embarrassed. It was a nonsense. It should never have happened. You know, we've seen many races in the past where we've had teammates on different strategies and one team had has to let the other one through or let him go because that's the best interest for the team. That has happened a lot in the last you know, few years. Team orders are banned in Formula One. They are banned. And it's not that you can make them. But at the end, we all make them a bit, all the teams. You've got to look at what constitutes a team order. I think it is something that needs to be addressed and clarified. If they exist, they need to be transparent and you know it needs to be explained to the public as a team sport and if they're not required which is what the regulation is designed to omit then it should be uh, equally uh, transparent yes sometimes the interpretation can be uh, can be uh, uh, let's say emotionally uh, creating some 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 difference because you can you can think or believe that the team is pushing for one driver which is wrong if out on the track one driver decides to give way to the other uh, yeah, is that any different than the team asking him to give way to the other? It's a very fine, uh, very fine line. And I think uh, Formula 1 and the FAA have to decide what message we want to give the fans. Fernando is faster than you. Can you confirm you understood that message? What you certainly don't want is, is repeat of what happened last weekend. So, you know, I think it's not good for the sport, it's not good for the fans. No one really knows how we're operating. So. I think it would be good now to clarify it once and for all. The, the team order rule is simply unenforceable because all the way through the decisions that teams make, whether it's the building of the car, the engines that go in the, the various cars, what developments are tested first by different drivers, who gets to drive the new car first, all of those things influence one driver over the other. But the rule, in my opinion, is flawed from the start and it needs a very major rethink.